In this lesson we'll take a look at two different ways of playing the core section of Blackbird by Paul McCartney. At the bottom of the screen it's drawn up in Travis picking, uh, which some find easier to learn. And after we've seen that we'll take a look at how it's originally played using an index finger strum. So first up the Travis picked version uh, shown at the bottom of your screen. Let me kick into action a G backing just running at 60 beats per minute here. And we get one and two and three and four and one and two and three. I've now changed the tablature shown below uh, to represent what's pretty close to what's happening on the original. Uh, the big point of interest here, uh, something you don't have to do when Travis picking it, is worry about the, uh, the strings that I've indicated with an X down below. Uh, what's happening with the chord is that the little finger is playing the B string, fret 12, but muting underneath it the top E string. The first finger is playing the A string and muting underneath it the D string. Uh, for me I'd normally end up muting the bottom string as well with that first finger. Um, so all that's allowed to ring, if I was to strum all six strings, I will hear a click on the E string, uh, fret 12 of the A string, then a click on the D string, then an open G string, fret 12 of the B string, and finally an X, a click, on the top string. So if I strum the lot, that's what it's going to sound like. What this means is when I'm strumming with my index finger, I don't have to worry about hitting the right notes particularly. I'm going to really strum, maybe even aim for strumming four strings with that index finger. And you can hear that the two clicks disappear. And all that sounds... And beat two in isolation. Strum down, strum up. So the muting, definitely a key part of this. So running that with our backing track, leisurely pace again. We get one and two and three and four and one. Google search tells me that the original record speed of Blackbird is 96 beats per minute. Now that's measured in semiquavers, uh, whereas the examples I've shown you today are measured in eighth notes or quavers. Um, it doesn't make an awful lot of difference uh, as far as learning it's concerned. All that really changes is the foot tap, which is a subject in itself to jump that from quavers to semiquavers. Uh, some people find it quite natural, others that can be a lot of work. Uh, either way, you've got your target speed. If you're practicing this in semiquavers, you'd ideally like to be able to practice this and get it perfect, uh, let's say 110 beats per minute, substantially above the speed you'd like to perform it at. Uh, whereas if you're practicing in eighth notes, we want to take the examples I've shown you today to let's say 220 or higher beats per minute. There is no downside to being able to do this faster than you need to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. 